What's up you guys, Sunny here with GeekTools.net and welcome to this fairly anticipated video. This is the Summer of 2013 Room Tour and I have been trying to postpone this video as much as possible simply due to the fact that I've been getting a lot of new stuff which I want to put in the video but also I thought this would be a perfect time because my room is actually finally clean but also I'm actually moving soon so I thought this would be a good way to look at my old setup compared to my new setup when I move into the new home uh, that said let's get right into the video so let's start off with my door nice white door on the right we have my bed where all the magic happens and on the left we have my little whiteboard where I put some notes sometimes uh, what to bring to school or work uh, right now it's summer I don't have school anymore so I'm just working uh, part-time at the moment at the bottom here we have a little blue uh, holder or uh, organizer just filled with some junk cables and stuff like that here's my drawer um, in these drawers I have some interesting stuff on the top one, we've just got my drill and some drill bits and a whole mess of Apple headphones, which I don't use, that come with my Apple products. Um, this drawer down, you can see it's a drawer dedicated for cables. And as you notice, I have lots and lots of them. Um, I also have a couple hard drives here. There's a one terabyte one and a, another one terabyte one and my Vmoda headphones as well. So just a lot of crap. On top of the drawer, we've got my Sony Hi-Fi stereo system. Uh, this is what I use, so if I'm sleeping or if I want some music before I sleep, this is what I would use. Uh, great sound quality. It has this little dock here, which I can put my iPod third generation in, and it works great. Uh, it also comes with this little remote as well, so that's nice. And uh, yeah, it's lasted me like four or five years now, so it's pretty cool. Uh, at the bottom here, I've got a couple of interesting stuff hopefully you guys can see uh, there's this one subwoofer for my Corsair SP 2000s or sorry 2500s um, which I don't use anymore I've actually got the the, um, the speaker sitting here uh, it's just because the subwoofer is too big to put anywhere so I just left it there um, I'm just gonna be putting this upstairs when I have the chance and I'm gonna be giving it to my parents really uh, over here is my UPS, my uninterruptible power supply. So if power does fail in my area, I would still have the power to, you know, shut down my computer and maybe even charge my laptop. Uh, this is my actual subwoofer. This is a KRK 10S, and it's it's part of their uh, studio monitor series. So this is a massive 10-inch subwoofer. Um, and as you can see, hopefully, I know it's really dark, but it has a yellow cone, which makes it stand out a little bit. Um, in addition to that, on the right-hand side here, I've also got my router, uh, creating my Wi-Fi uh, in my room here. Uh, moving up, we've got my Audio-Technica AT2020 condenser microphone on a Rode boom arm, so I can adjust it to whatever angle I want up, down, whatever, and also a dual layered pop filter as well. Um, here, before I forget, we've got my Scarlett 2, which is my audio interface. Uh, this is basically taking the signal from my computer and then converting it to signals that my speakers can use, which is pretty handy. Um, over there, I've got my bathroom, my personal bathroom. It's pretty dirty in there, so I don't think you want to go in. Uh, and then my closet here. So. My closet houses all my clothing and stuff like that. In this particular one, I basically have not much in here other than this filing cabinet with some cables and some cleaning stuff. Also, I've got another iPad in there, which I have to repair. That's why it's in there. And at the bottom here, I've got, of course, all my files and documents. And in these boxes here, we got some water cooling supplies, my Klipsch headphones, uh, they're really good, so, so I definitely recommend them. Uh, also some discs, which I don't really use often, and some another organizer down there. Also, I've hung a couple rulers here. Uh, I use rulers a lot because I am majoring in geophysics at University of Calgary, uh, so that's why I keep them handy there. This little 
guy here just has some of my clothing in it. You don't want to see that. And of course, some personal accessories there. Uh, at the bottom, I've got a bunch of cleaning supplies. I've got, you know, screen cleaners, glass cleaners, measuring tapes, a bunch of knives for unboxings, uh, some screws, some, so some random stuff down there. This guy's kind of cool. It's a uh, flashlight. So if I hold this, hopefully it'll turn on. It's, kind, it's, it's really neat. So it's a very, very bright flashlight. Maybe I'll use this in my video from now on. Uh, but also at the back here, you see that there's two USB ports, so I can actually charge my iPad and my iPhone with this flashlight. Sorry about the focus there. Um, I'll keep it handy if I need to use it in some dark places. Actually, I'll use it right now to show you the speaker, to show you the subwoofer. Uh, just need to turn it on. Sorry about that, guys. So I finally got this stupid flashlight working, and as you can see there, there's my KRK subwoofer. Uh, with the beautiful yellow cone and also right next to it I have my UPS from CyberPower and also my Corsair subwoofer. Uh, so that said, let's go check out my closet which is right over here and it is a walk-in closet and as you can see it is extremely messy. A lot of the stuff in here is not mine but my parents so all the stuff in white there in the garbage bags are not dead bodies but my parents uh, stuff. Um, that said, uh, my stuff, on the other hand, is a bit more interesting. I've got my toolkit there with a bunch of screws and stuff I use to repair computers and, you know, phones and tablets. Down there is my actual toolkit with my Dremel and a bunch of precision screwdrivers on the top there as well. Here is actually my shooting range. I do have a pellet gun, which I'll show you now. It's this guy right here. Uh, it's a, what is it, Beretta? And you know, I live in Canada, so I don't know too much about guns, uh, but it looks like the real thing. It feels like the, the the real thing because it has a metal housing, and it actually draws back like that, so it's kind of cool. Uh, it shoots pellets uh, with CO2, which is basically a beefed-up version of a BB gun. Also in here, I've got some uh, boxes, of course, for my products. I've got a couple motherboard boxes, some uh, Mac boxes in there, Beats, uh, also my, uh, what is it? Uh, my hard drive boxes, uh, so a bunch of boxes as well. There's you can find pretty much anything here. I've got you know a MacBook Pro unibody, you know sheet there. I've got my backpack, so a bunch of really cool stuff. Moving along, uh, let's have a look over here. So uh, I've got a little bamboo plant there just to make this room a bit more organic. I've got an empty fish fish tank which I'm gonna put. I'm either thinking of putting like you know, a hamster in there, which I don't even know if that's safe or good for it, or some fishes in there. Uh, hopefully this thing here will support it. Uh, so it just sort of depends. Maybe when I get to my new house, I will, you know, put something in a fish tank. Also my wallet and my iPhone cases, water filter. Uh, I've got the original Apple TV still in this box, uh, which is kind of cool. My friend gave it to me and I love it to death. Uh, you know, an Apple fan boy here, uh, as you can see. And I'm going to be actually using it on my new uh, setup that I'm doing. So I'm going to actually use it for AirPlay and uh, use it as basically a streaming box. Also my pencil holder, glue, you know, a bunch of stuff that you guys don't really care about. You know, at the bottom here, I've got some interesting things. My collection of Apple boxes from the first generation iPods to the iPhone, Apple TV... Uh, another couple iPhones, so a bunch of really cool stuff there. Also my games, I got a couple for the Wii, some Blu-rays there, I don't watch too many as you can tell. Uh, a bunch of Xbox and PC games there, uh, and PS3 as well. So I'll zoom in, just so you guys can have a good look, you can pause the video if you like. Uh, more pencil boxes, an iPad box, also some more Xbox, bo uh, Xbox games down there, and my textbooks for my major which is geophysics once again and also some papers and stuff like that also here I've got my tripod which I use in most of my videos uh, this is some crappy tripod I bought from Walmart but it works like a boss it has a you know a very smooth uh, swivel head I've got you know bubble indicators to show me if it's level or not and it's a pretty nicely made tripod I've also got over here is my laptop bag uh, and this is a awesome laptop bag. It has a bunch of 
covers, some places for chargers. It has location for four computers, which is kind of kind of crazy, but it does have that feature. I put a couple iPads and some folders in there. Uh, so a nice laptop bag. And also a chest here, so if I need to do any uh, recordings out there in the field or stuff like that, camera, you know, a camera kit, I take this along with me. It's a nice hard shell case and inside it's foam so it protects the equipment quite well especially when it comes to sensitive audio equipment and a random calculus book because I'm Asian and I'm nerdy so yeah uh, over here is my home server I do a lot of my video processing and audio processing on this computer compared to my primary computer uh, this is basically a computer where I can offload tasks to uh, it's also a server so I can do my you know monthly backups or sorry weekly backups um, and most of these drives are filled with terabytes and terabytes of storage uh, so it's really nice for that also it's once again a processing server so if I don't need tasks to run all night on my primary computer I just push it up to uh, this computer here there's my mini fridge with a couple bottles of Jones in there. <laughs> As you can see, I really have to fill it back up. Up top, I've got my printer and scanner. Uh, this is my Canon, what is it, uh, image class, uh, MF4570DW. And this is a workhorse of a machine. It prints double-sided, scans double-sided, has a scanner down there as well, uh, Wi-Fi compatible. Um, just a bunch of really cool stuff in this printer. It's made for a bit, uh, made for a small business, uh, but I was lucky enough to get it on sale to put into my room. Also over here, I've got my PS3. Uh, this is the PS3 Slim with a bunch of really cool, interesting ROG stickers on there. Uh, I don't use it as often after I got my gaming computer, but it's still good for Netflix and some media entertainment stuff on there as well. Down there, I've got my two PS3 controllers, my red one which I got I believe with my Gears of War collection there and also my normal black one which I use sometimes my home phone and my hole puncher here is my 15 inch MacBook Pro and this is this is a late 2011 model uh, it's still a very powerful computer but I am upgrading it to a Retina MacBook Pro simply because it's so damn heavy when I haul it to school, it's like hauling a tank. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to go upgrade to a, uh, what is it, a Retina MacBook Pro, uh, the 2799 model. So it's going to be a nice upgrade for me, especially with the SSD storage. Uh, this one does come with SSD. It has a 256 gigabyte, but I am filling it up pretty darn fast. It also has a quad-core processor, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM and also another hard drive in there. I did replace the optical drive with a 500 gigabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. Now it is sitting on top of a Zalman laptop cooler. This guy here is a Zalman ZMNC2000 and it cools it very very well. There it is what it looks like at the bottom. It's a fairly slim laptop cooler but it does a very good job. There's the controls on the side there. Uh, I've actually modded it a little bit. I've got a hard drive built into the laptop cooler with a bunch of USB hubs and that's why there's a lot of cables coming out here so what I do is I plug in this one USB cable into my computer and it gives me access to a lot of cool stuff so it's basically like a base station I've also got the charger that goes underneath the laptop cooler as well and also I've got an audio plug here to plug it into my uh, surround sound system on the side here I've got the charger for my mouse, it's an MX Revolution. Speaking of my mouse, uh, here's what I've got underneath for my MacBook Pro. Uh, lot, uh, sorry, an Apple wireless keyboard, bamboo pen and touch tablet, uh, Logitech MX Revolution Bluetooth edition, and yeah that's it. Uh, over here I've got my left hand side studio monitor, this is a Yorksville, um, they're 8 inch monitor and they are amazing especially compared to the KRKs uh, if you guys might know if you do follow me on Facebook uh, link is in the video description you'll notice I bought the KRKs before and you know I compared to these they just don't match up at all for the same price these sound so much better uh, just give me a sec I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights 
so you guys can see everything a bit better. So yeah, these sound amazing, especially paired up with the Scarlet 2 and the KRK subwoofer. Uh, KRKs do make amazing subwoofers though, so that's why I went with a KRK instead of Yorksville. Uh, up top, once again, is my Audio-Technica AT2020, just in another view. Over here are my monitors. So I do have a triple monitor set up here. It's good for gaming, but it's also really good for productivity, especially the stuff I do, which I need documents here, file management there, also for web design and video editing. It's just fantastic. Uh, the monitors I have are these ultra-thin ultra monitors from Asus. Oh, sorry, Acer. And um, they actually don't make these monitors anymore. They're the S24HL monitors, and they're 24 inches, 1080p resolution. Uh, a beautiful monitors, very thin, and I love the design of them. They have nice thin bezels, very good for uh, trunk monitor setups. Uh, I'm just sort of surprised that they didn't make any more of them, or they decided to discontinue this product because it was pretty hot selling. Uh, at least I would have bought a couple more if they kept on making them. So, really cool monitors. If you could find them, I definitely recommend you checking them out. I know Acer isn't one of the bo one of the most reputable companies, but I do recommend these monitors. They're fantastic. They lasted me at least so far for four years. So they're really nice. Down here, I've got my uh, backup drives, uh, my secondary drives. These are the Porsche designs from Lacey, and as you can see, they look really sexy. This one's two terabytes. This one's another two terabyte. Uh, I use this one primarily for documents, you know, geek tool stuff. And the second drive is primarily for school, um, also for media, so movies, music, stuff like that. It would go on this drive, and obviously this drive is for work-related stuff. Uh, over here, I've got my controller for my SP two five zero zeros. Over here I've got my iPod Touch 3rd generation. I use this in the car a lot, so uh, you know, play a lot of music and stuff like that. Also I've got an Apple Universal Dock, the Scarlet 2 once again, and these monitors are kinda cool because they have the little blue lights that glow out, so that kinda, kinda give it a nice look to it, especially at night. Uh, I am, by the way, running Mac OS X on this PC. Sorry about that, guys. My battery ran out on my camcorder. Uh, but that said, I did want to show you my Hackintosh. So this is Mac OS X running on my Windows machine. And how I did this was, if you just Google Tony Mac x86 or Hackintosh on Google, you'll get lots of information there. But as you can see, this is a full version of Mac OS X with its dock and iPhoto, iMovie, so it's really, really cool. And I use it all the time for my productivity side, using Final Cut to edit my videos and stuff like that. And also, I dual boot between Windows 8 and Mac OS X, so I also have the privilege of gaming and stuff like that on my Windows 8 side. Uh, totally forgot about my primary build. This is my GT Cosmos. This is what runs the whole operation. It is a total beast. It has 32 gigabytes of memory, three GTX 680s, uh, a hexa-core processor. That means six cores overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz. It has four terabytes of storage and dual 128 gigabytes uh, SSDs in RAID 0. So lots and lots of power and the case that I'm using here is the Cosmos 2 gaming case which is perfect for what I need it for. I've got uh, three radiators in there so it is a crazy machine and I will be doing a video review on it in the not too far future. Also I did want to show you my keyboard and mouse and my tablet for my primary computer here. Uh, I've got my Logitech K810 illuminated keyboard which is kinda cool because it lights up and glow in the dark. I've also got another MX Revolution for my uh, primary computer there and also a Intuos 5 tablet from Bamboo. This is basically a souped up version of the tablet that you saw over here. So it's a lot bigger, it has a lot more programmable buttons, it also has a lot more pressure sensitivity and angle sensitivity, so it's a really cool tablet for what I use it for. Uh, in addition to that, I did want to show you my power supplies down here. So I do have all my power bars underneath the glass table there. Uh, when I do move, I'm going to put them all to the side so you won't see any cables and clutter at all. And that's what's powering my whole setup here as well. 
Now underneath both uh, of the of the keyboard trays here I have lights that come out and shine on top of it so I can type at night on both sides but also if I just click a button under my under my uh, desk here you'll see that the whole bottom area lights up and it'll look a lot cooler at night obviously but you know in ca on the camera it doesn't really show up all that great let me see if I can turn off a couple so it pretty much lights up the whole underbody of my desk and the cool thing about this is first of all at night if you're going to go to the washroom or something uh, you can see easily but also um, it flashes to the music so if I play music it's gonna beat it's gonna change it's gonna dynamically adjust itself and it looks really cool at night over here I've got my pen for my uh, bamboo tablet there also my iPhone 5 in the Belkin dock here my right hand speaker and also I've got a little headphone stand here for my uh, Philips um, what is it? A Philips Cityscape I believe it is. Uh, these are kicking headphones. They're not the super bassy, but it, they're you know very clear and they're really good for pretty much all genres of music. If you want very clear and very accurate sounding headphones, I definitely recommend the Philips Cityscape. I believe it's Uptown. Uh, so definitely Google that and check it out. I've also got it sitting in a just mobile aluminum headphone stand. And lastly, I've got the iPad 4th generation with the Retina display. Uh, really nice device. I use it all the time for uh, both work and also school. Uh, I do all my textbooks on here, so it's just a very nice device to view your emails, browse web, check out Netflix on. And lastly, I've got my light here, which is very handy for doing paperwork and stuff. That's why I have pretty much this whole desk space clear so I can do my documents and work on here. So yeah, that's my setup guys. If you have any more questions or comments, please email me sunny at geektools.net. Check out my website geektools.net. Add me on my Facebook. Once again, just searching Geek Tools and my Skype. Once again, just searching Geek Tools. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Peace out.